Find a good spot back here. Oh. Load the truck. Lots of fun. Bill Talbot and his friend John Dukes are going camping. Going out to Big Bend National Park. And they're packing a lot of stuff. Eh. This is the dirty work. This is how the sausage is made. Behind the scenes peak. <laughs> we'll try. Let's do this. And we're off. It's off the Big Ben we go. This will be our ninth annual trip out there. We keep going back because it's just an amazing place. Tons to explore. Just taking in the, the awesomeness that is the Big Ben part of Texas. Now, Bill didn't load that trailer just for himself and a couple of friends, their friends and more. Almost 50 folks in all are camping with Bill's club, Hill Country Outdoors. It's a pretty active group. Every year, it's always probably a third to a half of the group are newbies who've never been out here before. So it's pretty awesome to see their eyes just uh, open wide when they get out here and check out this incredible spot we're in. camping in the mountains can take some getting used to. The ground's kind of hard and it was a little cold. But that's what the coffee is for. Much better. Something warm. <laughs> the hash browns. Yeah, do another batch of eggs if you got those going. After fueling up, the campers have plenty of options. Tons of hikes, lots of hikes. What are you all doing today? All right, here we go. We're doing the Lost Mines Trail. Don't fall. <laughs> can I see my truck from here? <laughs> My main reason for being part of this group is to do the things that I like to do with other people that like to do that stuff. <laughs> All the laughter up and down this hill today is because of the people. One small step for mankind. No, no, something like that. If I'd been doing this by myself, I wouldn't have had near as much fun. <laughs> there's a photo op every 10 feet, so there's lots of breaks. Casa Grande. Wow. That's pretty. There we go. That's gorgeous. Ken Harris is a Big Bend veteran, having made all nine trips with Hill Country Outdoors. We're in the home stretch. As for Margaret Dean. I'm not an experienced hiker, obviously. This is all a little new. I'm going camping and hiking for the first time. That makes reaching the summit all the more rewarding. High five. <laughs> Maybe a high 10. <laughs> it's fabulous. Just fabulous. Top of the world. This is a doozy to pick as your first camp out, but the views are spectacular and the payout's worth it. For those less interested in scaling mountain peaks, Hill Country Outdoors offers plenty of camping and hiking closer to home, like in the Hill Country. <laughs> we see a few turkeys. We are out here in part to see the turkeys. About five of them out there. But uh, some people came along who wanted to do some canoeing and kayaking, so it's pretty laid back. Some of them came out to hike. I came out here to paddle on the South Atlantic. The canoeing and some of the stuff is a little bit beyond the comfort zone for a lot of the members. So it's always nice to have somebody with you who knows what they're doing. Just beautiful, beautiful river. Prior to joining the, the club a few months ago, I didn't have any paddling experience. This is a club that's full of those type of activities. I don't get bored with it because there's just such a diversity to choose from. The club's calendar lists multiple events each day of the week. With affiliated clubs in other cities, members have recreation options around the state and beyond. The internet's making all of this possible, really. It helps share the information of what you need to do, meet here, show up with this, plan on this amount of time. Without the internet, none of this would happen. Free services, like meetup.com, are making it easier for folks with specific interests to join group activities. Outdoor clubs like Hill Country charge fees, but tend to offer more organized events. 
Someone else does all the organizing, someone like me. We'll take care of all the logistics and all the pain in the rear stuff, and you just kind of show up and have fun. Underwater, when we're scuba diving, we, we want to be what's called neutrally buoyant. It makes it easier to just, you know, touch your toe in a little bit. We want to be swimming along in the water columns. Today, I learned to scuba dive. I was a little worried about going underwater and breathing, because uh, that just seems completely not right to me. <laughs> I've been kind of crossing off my list things I'm scared to do or things that I want to do but I'm a little mm, about. So this was one of those things I was like, okay, I did that. I feel good. I feel good about myself. Yeah. Nicely done. That's kind of the whole spirit behind this club is try things you want to do but are a little bit nervous doing on your own. So it's nice to have a, a, a built-in support group to try these kind of events with. We did the zip line and that was great. I don't recommend anybody do this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm with Body City Outdoors in Houston and then there's Hill Country Outdoor Group that's here. They all play well with others. It was so fun. Awesome. Like a pro. You're good, brother. Seeing everyone having fun and smiling <laughs> doesn't get much better. It's fun! Of course, outdoor clubs aren't all high adventure. Oh, awesome. A lot of it's also just hanging out and talking and cooking dinner or trying to cook dinner, sitting around a campfire. That was about six months ago when I was younger. <laughs> There's a whole side that's sometimes jokingly called Hill Country Indoors. We uh, meet for dinners, we go out for uh, drinks. In general, most people leave, you know, Thursday In fact, morning, much yeah. of the preparation for that Big Ben trip was disguised as a social hour at a local pub. Something always goes wrong every year, but I, I won't tell you what, because that's half the fun. <laughs> but except for some aching ankles and toes... Put a couple bandages on it so it won't hurt so much. <laughs> This trip is coming off without a hitch. As the weekend draws to a close, hikers and bikers head for the trails of Big Bend Ranch State Park for more exploring. Oh, good rescue day. Still have a day job, but it is a business. Vamanos! It's a for-profit. I jokingly say, if you ask my account, it looks like a nonprofit more times than not, but I've always been the party organizer, and so it's just kind of comes naturally to me. And plus, I just love the outdoors. This trip is 140 bucks, I guess, is what it costs. That's 12 meals included and planned activities every day, so. That looks pretty. Hard to do a trip for four or five days on that price, so it we think it's a pretty good deal. You guys okay? I already know Bill doesn't make a lot of money out of it. A lot of the reason he does it is because he enjoys it as well. I'm 66. When I'm out here, I feel their age. You got young and old, you've got people from all backgrounds, all stripes, but there's something inside of them that knows they need to be doing more of this. And for folks like Ken, this club is more than a way to get outdoors on the weekend. I had a personal tragedy a few years ago, and my friends from Hill Country at Dork, they, they made the difference for me. They, they saved my life. My best friends today to Ken, our tour guide. are people that I've met in Hill Country Outdoor. And I continue to participate and make new friends. It's the last day in Big Ben, and the campers clean up, pack up, and say their farewell. See you next time. I'm sad. I'm sad to go home. I will definitely go on another HCO trip, maybe next year, Big Ben again. I'm sure there'll be another one. Weekend was awesome. It was great. I think everyone had a great time. Uh, everyone ate really well. Got some really good long hikes in. Yeah, come on, everybody. Let's go. It's a little sad. We do it right here is good, actually. There's a lot of bonding. Squeeze in. Come on, we got nothing but love in here. One, two, three. And then suddenly it comes to an abrupt end. Here we go, one more. But, uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, here we go. So this story ends much as it began. Another trip in the book. But the outdoor club story is never really over. Got a trailer behind us? That's a nice thing. Bye, Mom. This week's calendar includes 20 new adventures to choose from. Every time it's something new.